Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the user interface designing side of the history of sellings page. As you can now see on the screen, this is the view of our history of sellings UI. Only administrators of this web app are able to access this page using the admin panel. Going on the typical fashion of our eShop, you can see our basic footer section on the bottom of this page like this. Then on the top of this page, you can see its title as History of Sellings. Then here's a search bar to search customer purchases using their invoice IDs. Then here are two input fields to sort purchases from an earlier date to a later date. Then here's a button called Find. Clicking on this button starts the sorting process. This section shows invoice IDs. This section shows product names. This part shows names of buyers. This section shows amounts of purchases. This section shows bought quantities. Clicking on these buttons will show further information about specific purchases. Then on here you can see pagination features of this page. We can use these pagination features to go back and forth between results pages. Alright, let's check out the responsiveness of this page to various display resolutions. In this case, we are only focusing on the larger and smaller display resolutions. So this is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Ok, now I am gonna decrease the display resolution virtually. Alright, now this is the view that we are getting on a smaller display resolution. As you can see, now it has a more compact structure to fit on that smaller display resolution. That's all about it, so let's inspect codes of our design. So now I am going to VS Code as you can see. I am currently viewing historyofsellings.php file. As usual, to keep our page running in the state, it should be I am linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags, I am linking bootstrap.css, then bootstrapicons.css, then now on style.css file. Then by the bottom of body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file, then now on script.js file. Then to body tags, we are adding a linear gradient color scheme like this. These codes are creating the design of page title. These codes are creating design of those three search input fields on the page. Those three search input fields are search by invoice ID, then from date, then to date. These codes are creating the column headers of the table like section. Then these codes are showing some examples of sellings just for the sake of this demonstration video. Then these are some codes of those pagination features. Currently active page number will be shown with this bootstrap class. Then finally, inside this PHP script, I included footer section.php file. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.